there is one message that echoes forth from this conference, let it be that human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. There is no greater strategic prize for the 21st century than the full social, political, and economic empowerment of women everywhere. For years, many of us have tried to show the world that women are not just victims of war. They are agents of peace. Where women have participated in negotiations, rare as those experiences may be, they have brought on the table a series of important issues, uh, from human rights to justice issues to so many others that may not otherwise get there. So Acto Sugars today is showed down. Send for more women. So I told the women sit at the door and loop arms, one arm within the other. And the next thing we heard on the overhead speaker was, oh my God, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Peace Hall has been seized by General Lima and her troops. Before, when there were meetings to discuss um, community issues and national issues, the women were relegated to the background. They didn't take part and say, today, we can stand up, we can express ourselves, we can feel, and now they do listen. Lasting peace and security can only be achieved when threats to women are seen as a threat to all. If women do not play an active part in making peace and in keeping peace, then the needs and interests of half of the world's population are not taken into account. Um, I wanted, uh, as the first woman special envoy appointed by the UN, they made that point to me. I said, well, that means I'm going to do it differently. And I'm not going to just talk with leaders, heads of state, ministers, um, negotiators. I'm also going to have a bottom-up approach. The resilience I've seen in women to be able to handle pain and turn challenges to opportunities is you just can't understand it. When the woman says, I don't know what to do with money, I'm afraid of money, always remember it is not her voice. It is the voice of the history, which created all the fears around her. The main strategy to avoid a relapse into violence is to put money in the hands of women. That unless you invest in women, you will not have the change that we need in Africa. As nations, it is what we choose to do with our power that matters most of all, and that is the greatest testament to our values. <laughs>